Hi there. Um, so we're going to try something a little bit more challenging uh, this time with our drawing and we're going to have a little look at some orthographic views. OK, uh, we have done some of this in the past, but I just want to see whether you can do um, an orthographic sketch. So what I'd like you to do is just to take uh, some kind of bottle. So uh, I've got a small um, Hugo Boss bottle here, um, very tiny one, or I've got another perfume bottle here or aftershave bottle, which is a double chicken banner. Um, so it can preferably if it's squared or rectangular, that will be easy to do. But if you've only just got a round shape, um, then that will work absolutely fine as well. So first thing that we're going to do. So drawing a straight line along the bottom of your piece of paper. And again, uh, you can do this in biro or you can do this in uh, pencil, whichever you feel comfortable with. And then we're going to do sort of a combination of um, sketching and using the ruler if you're not comfortable. So orthographic views are basically we, when we have an object. So let's say we've got a, um, a tall object like this. Uh, and we're going to draw it in three views. So we're going to look at view A, view B, and then view C. So what we call front view, uh, front view, side view, plan view. Okay, we're going to draw view A down the bottom here, followed by view B, and then we're going to project and do view C at the top. Okay, so if you look at my bottle here, I can see that if this is view A, I will be able to see that my top of my bottle, my bottle will look something like this. Okay, so that's my view A looking from this side. If I do my view B, which would be this side, okay, you can see that it's going to look something like this. So a shortened um, rectangle. And if I do view C, which is looking from above, okay, you're going to see that I can see probably two rectangles, one inside each other. So it's going to look a little bit like that. So what we're going to try and do is draw this one here, followed by this one here, followed by the top view here. And we're going to project that. So we're going to use the bottom view A to help draw B to help draw C. OK, now I'm not going to measure it. I'm not going to draw it to scale. I'm just going to try and draw it within proportion. All right, so here's my bottle here. I'm going to put that down over there somewhere. OK, so first thing I do is draw a rectangle. OK, now you can do it with a ruler or you can sketch it. That's up to you. We're just trying to get the layout. Um, you can see then it's got like a small neck. Halfway through the middle and then I've got another rectangle on the top, which isn't quite as big. As the one at the bottom, you can see it's not quite as big as the one at the bottom like so. OK, uh, I could go over with the ruler if I wanted to, to make it a bit neater. I could measure it out a little bit and do five and find the middle, etc. But we're really just trying to do. Um, so I could find the middle of this and then make sure I did get that pretty much in the middle. OK. So I could use a ruler and I could go back over it, get it nice and neat. So that there would be my view A. So then what we're now going to do is use some projection lines across and up to try and draw what would be my view C, uh, uh, B and then my view C. So watch here. So now this is drawn. I'm going to take these lines across. OK, and these are what we call projection lines. They help draw the other view. You've already got the ground. OK, so every point you see, so here, here and here, you're going to take the line across. Then every point you see here, you're going to take the line up. OK, projection lines, don't worry if they cross over each other. OK, so we're now going to do view B, which is this one here. And again, it's slightly thinner, so I'm going to step a little bit away from here. OK, and I'm going to draw in view B. So view B is not as wide as this, it's almost like a square. OK, and then I can see that the neck is similar. So again, 
this is not as wide on the side here so this is about here this is about here and then the neck is a similar sort of size to the other one all right so i'm going to draw that in now you can see that because we've got the height of the bowl here it's already there for you because we've projected that line across the height of the lid is already there for you okay the height of this is already there for you so using those lines across enables us to draw this view simply because we've got all the lines already there all right now what we want to try and do is draw the top view remember this is not to proportion that's not the same size we want to try and draw the top view and we're going to use both of these views so watch this i'm going to take the corner of the drawing and i'm going to draw a line diagonally about 45 degrees okay take it all the way off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to project these lines up. So watch up, 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 and up. And then wherever it touches here, I'm going to go back. All right, now, because I've used these lines and projected them up, I can actually see my view B is now here. I can see that because the edges of the bottle line up, this lines up and across. So I can actually see that my bigger bottle and the lid is here. Now you might need to watch the video a couple of times just to see that and see how I did that. But you're going 45 degrees, you're gonna take these lines up now the neck of the bottle here, okay, I could take these this up as well, all right, but we know for a fact that the net, neck of the bottle will be under here somewhere. If I took these lines up to these ones up here, the neck of the bottle would be under here somewhere, which we can't see because of the top of the lid. And that gives you view A, and that gives you view B, and that gives you view C, okay? Much, much harder to do this week, um, much tricky and more um, difficult to do rather than just a sketch. Please watch the video um, a couple of times because you might need to. But remember, um, it's just a simple sketch. So if I was to sketch this in orthographic, okay, just do it on the side here, I'm gonna get the bottle, which is gonna look a little bit like this, with the lid. Okay, project all of this information across. Now, the other side is going to look the same, obviously. Because the bottle, because it's round, one side is the same to the other. Okay, so again, I'm going to get the same shape. Okay, because this side would be the same as this side. But this is a difficult bit, watch this. So I'm going to project this. 45 degree line, going to take these lines up. Okay, going to take these lines up. Where it hits, I'm going to take them across. And you'll see that I'm going to get the lid in this one here and the bottle in this one here. That will give you the top view. All right, see if you can have a go at that. Thank you for watching.